565 cubic inch big block Chevy fitted with a four stage dry sump crank support 1471 blower mechanical fuel injection with a carbon JBR hat And I've got a lot of work to do to get this thing up and running. So um, I'm going to go through, um, show you guys some of the stuff I've done to the ute since the last video. I can't even remember anymore, but I'll try and show what I haven't shown and um, just go through all the stuff I've got to do to get this thing up and running. I'm estimating around three weeks because there's a fair amount of work involved. So. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so we'll start with this rock cover is hitting the wipers because originally I moved this engine back. Um, also raised the tunnel in this ute. So the engine's been moved back probably um, three inches or something like that. It's been made level. So there's like a dead straight line to the diff. Um, and yeah, this swipe mode is a bit too close. So I'm going to have to, um, I can still make this work because there's a, um, a rubber seal sort of thing on the other side of this and it's about that thick. And that's literally how much it needs to come in for it to miss the rocker cover. So I'm going to just pull that off and move that plate on the other side of something. Maybe give a bit of love tap, get that in just to make that rock cover fit. Other problems I have is the oil pump is hitting the steering arm. The um, pressure spring device down there hits the steering arm. So potentially gonna have to flip that bracket upside down that holds the oil pump. And then that should lift it up a few centimeters. Just enough for that to miss. I'm gonna run the alternator off this V-belt um, in here and potentially just have it a little bit underdriven and make sure this is well and truly solid mounted because I do not want that belt coming off because if that belt comes off it's going to flap around in here and then it's going to end up pushing that belt off which is bad so I've got to make sure I get this right um, this alternator I've been thinking like I'm possibly going to either mount it here and make a support to the plate the engine plate or i might try and mount it on the underside because there's plenty of room on the underside of that crank support setup not too sure about that yet but i've got to deal with that um got to make custom headers which is going to be a big job i've got heaps of pipe over here i'm going to go um two and a quarter inch pipe just for the first turn off the heads and then I'm going to step it into um, two and three eight and then a two and a half inch for the collectors. So they're big pipes. I just didn't want to go two and a half inch off the heads because it's just, there's not much room to work with. But these are the collectors. Just mild steel, just going to mild steel because it's simple. I just want to MIG weld it and just get it done. And then I'll probably just get them coated because McFry's head has been last in ages they've been they're mild steel and they're old as hell they crack every now and then but that's because i ground the welds but this time around i will not do that so do not grind welds on headers when you weld them it doesn't work they just crack um over in these boxes i've got a mazir remote mount water pump i've got to try and mount that somewhere i've got the msd um cam sink so the engine's got to come back out for that to go in. So we've got to adjust the slip collar and stuff. Um, plumbing, I've still got to plumb up. All this, there's a fair amount of plumbing going on here. The fuel pump is meant to go on the back of the oil pump. As you can see, there's no room there. But once that bracket's flipped around, the pump will come up a bit higher. Um, potentially, the fuel pump will still fit in there okay. I'll have to um, uh, chop a bit out of the cross member there, but I've 
chopped enough out of it anyway, so it's not going to hurt if I chop a bit more out. And the, um, what's that thing called again? Return, the three way return valve thing. That's going to have to get mounted somewhere else. It can't stay on the pump because that's literally going to come up right to the header. So I'm just going to have to have that pump on the back of the oil pump and then probably just have like a 90 degree bend fitting there or something like that. It's either that or I could possibly look into mounting that off the Jezel drive. But even then, once the radiator is installed, there's not much room there either. So I'm probably still best off putting that down there. And the water pump, if I get this alternator maybe under the uh, crank support, I'd probably put the water pump somewhere there on the engine plate. It's a bit of a um, logistical nightmare. It's like Meccano, but like just really difficult and um, expensive. So the Haltech, I've just got to run, I'm going to run a firewall plug back around here somewhere. Um, that just pretty much will unplug from the firewall and it's going to have all the sensors on the engine are going to run through that into the Haltech. So whenever the engine has to come out, it's just a matter of unplug and then all the wires come with the engine. I also installed a drift brake in here. That is correct, I installed a drift brake. Because I like high speed tip ins. I still need to bleed that because it bottoms out. But if you give it two quick pumps, it works. So there's still a bit of air in that somewhere. I went with a dual caliper setup on the diff, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, dry sump tank I'm mounting it here. So I'm just going to have to run two lines up to the pump from the back here is I would have rather have it up the front somewhere but um, there's a lot of um, modifying there's no way this tank was going to fit so I could have made a um, got a tank made for it but instead I decided to just chuck it in the back because I already bought it and I'll just run a um, catch can here for the rocker covers I'll just get one of them made up here that'll match that tank there nice decent size one and currently i got to do some winding on the springs because that's literally how it sits it's just too low at the moment so i'd like that to sit probably i don't know a lot higher than that it looks cool like that but it's very impractical it's probably gonna get stuck on everything all right i'll bring it up my level oxy to try maybe see if i can get that alternator Maybe somewhere down here. Depends if it's going to be too low. I probably won't, but I'll have a look at that. I'm going to have to wind these bad boys up a fair amount because this thing sits way too low. Under here, I'm just going to have to get some 90 degrees here. Get them running over to the pump. Yeah, it's pretty same, same under here. And I'm back here for the um, drift brake that I installed. I just got a, a line running up and around here, and I've got a dual caliper set up. So the caliper's on the front for the drift brake. And then I just got two hoses running down to the diff. It's a bit overkill having a, a drift brake on a drag racing yet, but. I like to build my vehicles so they can be multi-purpose and do everything really cool. So I've got a drift brake on it and also got some custom steelies coming. Some 20 by 10 uh, 3 inch backspace because another problem I've got with this ute is this diff bracketry hangs down so low that if I actually blow a tyre out it's going to get beached on the ground. So. There's only expensive options to do burnouts in this year. And when I say burnouts too, I'm not going to 
blow tires out in this year because I've spent way too much time and effort on this thing so more like power cruise maybe more just drifting and that sort of thing probably do dream team in it but I just don't want to do blowing tires because it just it makes a mess like the back of McFry is like pretty much destroyed permanently so I do not want to turn the yid into a friggin a skid pig too much time effort money has gone into this so um i had to get some custom steelies made custom offset um so 20 inch tires that's like the minimum that i can get under the back here just in case i accidentally blow a tire out the rim will hit the ground rather than it beaching the diff on the ground so then the tires are like 180 bucks each so that's a lot of money to do burnouts in this year um well that's where the eats at very excited um also got a clear view here i've got to try and mount somewhere so as you can see i've got a lot of plumbing to do and um just a lot of fiddly stuff before i can get this thing up and running so i'm estimating around three weeks and we'll see how we go and i might do a video somewhere in the middle when i get a bit closer keep everyone updated and stuff and yeah for now Remember to buy my shirts too. They're taking up a lot of room in the land room. So I gotta gotta move them on. I'm gonna take them to Brashanats. So if you want some shirts and you can wait at Brashanats, um definitely taking the Brashanats. I've got McFry in here, ready, loaded. Uh Sydney Power Play. It's the next event I'm doing, and then Brashanats the following weekend. Um then after that, um there's another plan I'm doing with McFry where I'm actually planning on selling that small block now when the big block goes back in converting it to EFI, Haltech, um, 16 injectors, methanol, two stages of nitrous so McFry is going to be um, pretty pimped out when it comes back at that big block and I did pick up a rear quarter panel so now I've got a spare rear quarter panel. That's extra send. <laughs> I got that for 800 bucks, so um, it's a good price and it's handy to have a spare. So you know why. Also the rear bumpers. My Hall of Fame over here, I've got broken one, broken one, and then I've got a spare. And I've got a Freshy on the back of McFry at the moment, so it's ready to rip. Okay, um, pretty boring video, but it's better than nothing. It's all I got at the moment, and um, hopefully get this thing started in no time because I'm about as keen as anyone else is to hear this thing, and also see how much power it makes. Hopefully not too much, for it's undrivable, but I like horsepower. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching, and. Um, Hopefully next video is exciting.